Hey everyone, let me do the counting triangles question now, which is actually a fairly short one. If you can, yeah, if you can figure out what to do here. So here we're given a list of n triangles with integer side lengths, and we have to determine how many different triangles there are, how many different, you know, distinct ones there are. So we're given like, for example, here we have three triangles, right? Three triples of, of numbers. And we should output the number of unique or distinct triangles here, right? So there are only two here in this example, even though we're given three, because this first one is actually the same as the second one. So because the order of the integers doesn't really matter here. We have two, two, three, here we have three, two, two. But if you actually sort them both, they're going to be equal to each other. So that's the trick here, I think, for this question, is to realize that if you sort these individual, these sublists, right, then, then you'll be able to compare them to see if they're the same or not. Um, so let's write a little bit of code to do that. It should not be too hard. Um, okay, so there are many ways of doing it, but let's do it this way, first of all. So, okay, for T in our array, so this is a list, right? And we're supposed to output an integer, I guess, right? And this list is going to be a list of tuples here. This is what they do in Python. So T for tuple here. We're going to sort the tuple. So we can do that with sorted. And then to figure out how many distinct ones there are, we're going to put everything in a set, right? So like a hash set in, in Java. So we're going to do triangles, or let's just call it tri equals, so an empty set. And then actually sorted of a tuple gives you a list. Let me show you that. So if you do sorted of a tuple, it gives you a list, right? And you cannot put lists in a set, so we have to turn it back into a tuple. So you can do that with uh, with this, right? So at this point, we're just gonna add this tuple to the set. So try to add. And the advantage of a set here is that if you add the same tuple multiple times to the set, it's only gonna be in the set once. Right, so that allows you to count the, the distinct triangles. For example, uh, let me show you an example with like integers. So if s equals a set and you add four, then s is gonna be four. If you add four again, it's still just gonna be four, right? So this allows us to count the distinct number of, of tuples here. Um, okay, and then we can just return the length of the set, right? So return yeah, return, uh, well, the length, right? Length of try. So let's see if that works. It's running these two down here, and we passed our test cases. Now, we could, if you want it to be clever, you could put all this in one line, actually. So let's try to put all this, these four lines into one line of code. So... Uh, okay, how would we do that? So we have our tuple of sorted of t. And okay, we want to apply that to every element of the array. So let's do that with a lambda function. So lambda t. Um, so that's our function that we want to apply to every element in the array. So we can map that onto our array and then we want to we want to put the result into a set we put that into a set and then we return the length of that so if you want to write everything in one line you could do it i mean it's not necessarily clearer in one line but it's kind of nice sometimes when you can put things in you know in one line <laughs> so let's see if that actually works yeah, 
And so it's basically the same code, uh, just in one line. So, all right, thank you very much for watching.